In this forcible entry class, we're going to be talking about hinge doors, sliding doors, and overhead doors. We'll also cover uh, forcible entry on windows, both barred windows and boarded windows. Commercial hinge doors give us the biggest problem. Usually residential doors aren't that tough to get into, so we're going to focus on the hinge doors that are commercial. When you, when you approach your door, you want to read it. Get a size up of your door, what materials it made out of, which way does it swing, how many locking mechanisms can you see from the outside. As we look at this door, you can see obviously it's a metal door with a metal jam. It swings outside, your hinges are right here. There's bolts up here that are giving us a clue that there's going to be some sort of throw up here and also down at the bottom. Right here in the middle you can see that we don't see any kind of obvious mechanism here. That can lead us to believe that there's either a panic bar or maybe there's a, another type of board or bar crossing on the inside that we might have to deal with later. These are our obvious points of entry and these are the things that we're going to attack first on this door. Typically our commercial hinge doors are going to be the toughest doors to get into. Uh, Roll-up doors are going to be typically a lot easier than these to get into and also our, uh, the front doors of the occupancy uh, are usually going to be fairly easy to get into but they may not be our most appropriate place to, to try to get in so we're going to show you some techniques to get in these in case we have to get into them. Uh, the, these mechanisms, these locks, they have a throw. The throw goes from the door over into the jam. So that's going to be a first place we're going to approach on these things. So we're going to run our uh, metal blade circular saw down through the reveal right here and we're going to try to cut the throw on this deadbolt and the throw locking mechanism on the door handle itself. <laughs> As you can see, the door opens now after that cut, and that was enough to cut through both those throws. On the throws here, uh, typically your deadbolts right here are going to have a roller bar in there, and once your saw hits that roller bar, that bar is just going to free roll in there. That's a, that's a safety me or a uh, security mechanism they put in there to keep people from using a hand saw to get through there. Our circular saws will overpower that, our RPMs, but what you saw when he was cutting through that, that there was a time in there where that saw just sat on there and it sits on that roller bar while that roller bar spins and it takes a little while to get through that. After we tried that initial cut of uh, going after the throws through the reveal, uh, the door still doesn't open and uh, upon sizing this thing up a little bit more, we see we have four bolts up here with some sort of, which indicates some sort of locking mechanism on the inside. We also have four bolts showing from the outside down there another indication of some sort of locking mechanism. So what we'll do is we'll come back in with our metal blade circular saw and we're going to cut the heads of these bolts off, see if that opens the door for us. That technique right there, cutting the, the bolt heads off, still doesn't open the door for us. So we'll try some more options on this door.
try to force this thing open. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over on this side and we're going to go after the hinges. So we're going to have our uh, saw guy cut the hinges off and we're going to try to open the door from the uh, hinge side. As you can see during the cut, you want that saw at a good 45 degree angle. If the saw gets too close to the door, you're going to have problems with it. Right at about a 45 degree angle through the hinge and it doesn't take too long to get through those three hinges. Uh, you can also see that the reveal on the hinge side is usually going to be pretty tight. It's going to be very close. So you'll need a halligan with a flat end and a sledgehammer to force that in there and then to work it and pry it out. Even after all that right there, if we still can't get in this door, another technique that we can use is we can just go with a small triangle right here. We'll go all the way through this door. There'll be some sort of filler material in here normally. It can be wood, it can be foam, um, and, or it could even be some metal in there. So what we're going to do is try to cut a triangle, and then we'll try to make access and get a look, a visual, and see what type of locking mechanism is keeping this door from opening up for us. Okay, you can see uh, what we have here is a triangle in the door, middle of the door. Now what that does is that gives us an option to visually uh, see the inside and we can look to see where our locking mechanisms are and, and uh, reformulate a plan to open this door up.